Hey, this is Cash Troy from Victory.com, giving you a step-by-step -step, uh, basic combat strategy guide on how to pull off some pretty cool combos and make sure you're not getting beat up by enemies in Batman. So, big things you want to do is control your camera angles. Uh, in the middle of moves especially that are slow motion, you can turn your camera and see what's going on. You need to know what's going on all around you, so that way you can plan your next attack uh, right away. You don't want to button mash in this game, so having a plan is going to help you do that and controlling your camera is going to help you have that plan. So really um, what you want to do is be very deliberate with your controls. If you want to punch somebody, make sure it's one person, push the button one time. And when you're going to counter, push the button one time. So if you don't, it'll mess up your combo. It says it's a, called a free flow combat system for a reason. You want it to flow and you don't want it to be like mashing randomly. So the second thing is movement. You want to move from one enemy to another using the punch button. Uh, what it'll do is if a guy is far away, it'll launch you across the screen. You can also move away from attacks like I did with him instead of countering it. So pick a target that's pretty far away from the one that's trying to hit you and just use the attack to keep your combat flowing and getting away from someone who's trying to hit you at the same time. Um, using batter ranks in your combo will help you out a lot as what I call crowd control. So right here, um, we have like six enemies over there, and I batarang, knocking down three of them, taking it down to only three enemies I have to handle. You also want to use crowd control with your special moves after you get critical strikes. See how it's flashing yellow and I have moves here? I take down one enemy right there and lower the number of people I have to deal with. A lot of times I'll use a throw. Later on you'll see that there's a guy who picks up a gun, and I don't want him to shoot me, so I use a throw and throw the guy into him and knock the guns out of his hands. So throws are great for crowd control as well. Now using back claws in the middle of a combo is a little risky, but if you use it at the right time, it pays off very well. It's also great for starting off fights with a big crowd. It gets three guys off their feet right away, pulls them toward you, you can get your counter uh, knocked up pretty high right off the bat. And you can start taking down your high priority enemies like I do here. Uh, right here, critical strike, take down the guy with the knife right away. So, remember to use your, your um, combo meter to your advantage and take down your party enemies as fast as possible. Which brings me to my next topic, which is prioritizing your enemies. Um, obviously, anyone with a gun is number one priority. And second would be anyone with like a baton that has an electric charge on it or anyone with a knife. But they're a lot harder to take down and you have to use special moves to do that. So, I would try to take them out as fast as possible. So, Big thing about this game is uh, your timing. Uh, I use the easy mode of this game to show you how I time my counters and prioritize my moves off of that. And um, on the hard mode, you won't have that, but hopefully by then you're pretty familiar with when they're going to hit you and stuff like that. But you'll see whenever they're about to hit me, there's a thing above their head, and I go ahead and counter or move away based on that. So. And finally, I just want to try to talk about incorporating every move into a combo. In this particular scene, I think I do that. And what I do is I don't try to rush anything. Try to use your moves whenever they fit best. So right there, I use the bat batarang to knock down a few enemies. And fortunately, I get hit there because I got in a hurry. But um, it would have been perfect to just go ahead and use the um, counter and not get hit, keep my combo moving. So here. I yeah, I get my combo meter beat up, er, build up, I use my throw right there, counter, so I've got almost every move, I need to get a stun in here, which is pretty easy, you just use a stun anytime you, you feel it's necessary, and it won't mess up your combo too much. That's it. Here's the throw, and then I use my battering, so I have everything but a silent takedown and a back claw. So what I'm going to try to do is get most of the enemies laying on the ground to make sure my back claw doesn't get interrupted. So when we see how everyone's on one side, there's three of them grouped together, that's a perfect time to use your back claw. So, and finally is the silent takedown, which is the hardest one to get. And you want to make sure you're doing that after you batarang some people. And what that will do is it will knock all the enemies down on the ground. And you can make sure you can pull off the whole thing without getting hit. So this is the end of my quick combat strategy guide. There will be a few changes in Arkham City, but most of all, the combat system is the same. Uh, check out the full strategy guide on vidu.guides.vidu.batman.arkhamcity.